Hello everyone, it's Riku the Master, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. So, um, yeah, those are my stats as of right now. Um, basically in this episode, we're just gonna be exploring the castle. You know how it goes. That's a nice painting on the back of the wall, by the way. Anyway, so. We're gonna introduce some, some new enemies here, the Electric Skeletons, which, if you're not careful, they can really be a bitch to you. Especially if you're like in magician mode where all your stats are lowered except for your intelligence. Can't go in there yet. But yeah, these guys can do a lot of damage. It's a little it's a little ridiculous. Like it's about like maybe a, um, an eighth or a sixth of damage or something. That's the slime. Um, slime, if you touch it, poisons you. Kind of like the poison worms. They're pretty easy to deal with. Give you antidotes. They're basically just poison worm knockoffs. They just take a few hits to kill if you're level level. Um, outer wall. This mainly is just a, uh, a passageway to, um, the next area, rather than a, uh, important area. It's not too important yet. Now, I, sh I got hit on purpose that time to show you just how much damage they can do, and that's a pretty hefty amount compared to skeleton bombers doing about, like, two damage per bomb. Like, as you can see right there. Just a little ridiculous. So yeah, basically I'm just kind of wiping out enemies here, trying to get my experience. Will-O-Wisps, kind of like the spirits, except for they don't move around as much, which is nice. I'll move into the second area of it, which um, basically just skeleton bombers, and I think that's actually it. Oh, um, and another kind of enemy, which I'll run into in just a second. There we go. If you see those, they're um, float, um, brain floats, float brains, something like that. Um, uh, let's knock one out and see. Brain float. But as you can see, that you definitely cannot float on them. They're kind of just showing that you can go... Oh, cool, Mind Restore. Mind Restore, um, increases, um, your current amount of MP by 30. If you're running low and stuff like that, you know what I mean. I don't want your stupid knife. I said I don't want your stupid knife. Jeez. I don't want your stupid knife. I don't want your stupid knife. Ugh. I forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, more skeleton soldiers than electric skeletons here. God damn! These guys really do a shit ton of damage. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh, MP max increase. And if we go down here, save point. Yay! Let's take a look at my items here real quick. I don't really have any good items to equip besides what I have now. And I really only have potions and, um, potion and don't mind restore and heart. So nothing I can really use. I don't like using items in battle anyway. I would just prefer to go to the save point. Yeah, we're gonna, um, whatever floats your boat and rocks it though jump up here because I can't go down there because of that big cement block. So let's just journey on over to the left. Oh, what's this? Kind of looks like a save point, doesn't it? Same sound effect and everything. That's a teleporter, which um, will teleport you to other places that, um, teleporters that you've been to, which the biggest one is around this area because you'll always find yourself back here. So I decided to take the teleporter back just because... Because, you know, I got some more exploring to do. So, back around here, wiping out all these enemies again. Not really caring whether or not I, um, level up or anything. Or get shocked by a... Uh, another level up. I think that puts me at, yeah, level 8. Which is cool. I'm trying my best to avoid these electric skeletons at this point because they're kind of getting annoying to deal with. Right, um, here's some, uh, here's a new enemy, um, Devil Tower. They basically just shoot projectiles at you that you can't really block. Like, you can't do it like you do with the axe armor and hit their axes and make them disappear. Um, you basically just have to duck or jump over them. Which, they're pretty easy to avoid, but if you're careless, you'll be caught in the crossfire. They usually, um, later in the game, like, it's, um, stronger incarnations, sweet MP max. Um, and it's stronger incarnations, you'll, um, find, like, three of them at a time or something, all shooting. 
and they're a lot more powerful and stuff. I don't know, it can just get it. It can just be annoying to deal with later on. Alright, go into the next room. Stairs. Cool. And who's the um, architect for this castle? Seriously. <laughs> Flea, um, clinking men. Flea man. Another knife. Get away from me. I don't want your stupid knife, asshole. Go ahead and jump up here. Or at least try to. There we go. Oh, great. Two walls. I... God. If only there was some kind of magical item that can get me up there. Foreshadowing. Um, anyway, go through the doorway here. Here then, um... Um, those devil towers and bulk somewhat. You know, there's more than one now. Doesn't necessarily make them hard to deal with, but... Eh. Reminds me of this stairway here. Uh, take care of the axe armors, the devil towers. You know how it goes at this point. Basically, just whip the shit out of things. I don't know why, but I just get such satisfaction out of whipping the shit out of stuff. Oh well. Decided to use the holy water there, just because I never do. Alrighty, and this room here will have a boss fight. But for right now, I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and in the episode and the save point so i'll see you guys in the next episode stay tuned peace